So, how did the moon get there? Uh, um, in the post? Uh, delivery service. Hello? Is that the thing of me, Bob's in space service? Great. Look, this is planet Earth here. During the day, we have got this great big yellow thing overhead, but night so well a little dark. You wouldn't happen to have anything... Uh, uh, moon, you say? No, that sounds great. No, 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 no. I'll just have one to start with. No, whoops. If the moon were a pizza, it would be red. Aha! So, what we see from the Earth is the base. The dark side of the pizza. The topping is on the side that's hidden. The side we never see. All right. Let's go and see, then. Uh, is the moon far? The moon is 240,000 miles from Earth. Wow, that is a long way. It must be lots of light years, then. A bit more than a light second. Wow, that sounds close. That's right. In the context of space, it's nothing. The moon has a diameter of about 2,200 miles, a quarter of that of the Earth. Oh, a 2,200 mile wide pizza! But as for the moon's mass, the quantity of material needed to make it, it's almost a hundred times less than the Earth. So, if they were these two plasticine balls, the smaller one would be a hundred times lighter than the big one. The result is that the moon's gravity is very weak, so everything is six times lighter on the surface of the moon. So you can eat six times as much? No. Now, where does the moon come from? Well, in fact, we just don't know. So we've walked on it, but we still don't know where it came from? Well, there are in fact three possible solutions to the mystery. The first possibility is that after its formation, the Earth used to spin very quickly on its own axis, doing so in two or three hours as opposed to 24. The poles became flattened and a bulge appeared on the equator at its middle. This grew and grew until it split away and escaped to become our moon. If this were the case, the moon would be the Earth's child, as if it had come out of the Earth's very stomach. The problem is that no one knows if the Earth actually spanned that quickly on its own axis at the start. Mysterious! Another possibility is that the moon was formed almost at the same time as the Earth. There was a cloud of material at the start which condensed in on itself to form the Earth, and the dust and the other leftovers around did the same to form the moon. The moon would therefore be a kind of little sister to the Earth. And so what's the third solution? Uncle? Auntie? Cousin? Hamster? Mm, head louse? The third solution is that the moon was adopted. The moon was formed a long way from the Earth. It travelled through space and one day it would have passed close by the Earth and been captured by the Earth's ball. Hmm, well I really like that version. That way my ball comes back. So why is it so bumpy then? That's because of all the impacts from meteorites. On Earth, the majority of meteorites burn when they come into contact with the air that surrounds us and acts like a shield. But around the moon, there's no atmosphere and no air, so there's no protection. Oh, right. So suddenly the surface is horribly bombarded. And if there's no air, does that mean there isn't any water either? Not exactly. Under the surface, there may be some water or some ice but we still haven't found it. Incidentally, we flew over the dark side of the moon a moment ago. But it's just the same as the other side. Ah, I don't believe it. The moon is a pizza with two crusts. Until next time, when we'll explain why the moon has a dark side. Goodbye, Earthlings! I am disappointed, very disappointed. So, how did the moon get there? Scientists have three possible solutions. Either it was a piece of the Earth that became detached from our planet, or it was formed at the same time as the Earth, or it was a planet travelling through space from afar and which one day became trapped by the Earth's pull.